Do you love barbecue sauce? Well, I sure do. And you probably heard of a Texas style or a Kansas City style or St. Louis style. But how about a Memphis style? This is Red's Memphis style barbecue sauce. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore back again with another product to review. Now today I have a barbecue sauce and I'm going to go ahead and say it right now. This is a good one. This is the brand new product from Red's Hot Sauce uh, that are located up in Rhode Island. Now I've reviewed all of their hot sauces on my channel before. Uh, just some super delicious flavor profiles. So make sure you check that out. But this is the brand new barbecue sauce that they have come out with. Red's Barbecue sauce, Memphis style. Check that out. Now, this is a woman owned company uh, owned by Deja Hart. And I think it was pretty cool what they did with this label. Kind of a uh, throwback to the rockabilly style girl there. Look at her rocking that uh, bandana, the uh, short sleeve swing dress. Look, she's got some uh, chili peppers for earrings, got some cool shades. Looks like the only thing missing is a couple of tattoos. <laughs> Well, maybe this uh, rockabilly girl doesn't like tattoos. All right, it says dipping sauce, sweet and tangy. All right, now I just really love barbecue sauces, and I live here in South Carolina, and we kind of enjoy about three different styles here in South Carolina, kind of the central part on down south. We enjoy a good mustard-based or mustard-style barbecue sauce. Uh, the eastern uh, coast, the eastern side of North Carolina, they love their vinegar and pepper mop sauces. Very heavy vinegar-based sauces, very thin. Uh, not too many else, not too much ingredients in there. Maybe some sugar and spices, but mainly vinegar and peppers. And then the western side of North or uh, South Carolina uh, is uh, they enjoy a tomato-based type of barbecue sauce. So we kind of like all three here. Three different styles here in um, South Carolina. North Carolina, predominantly East versus West. East is the mop style vinegar based, and then Western uh, North Carolina is the uh, thicker tomato based um, barbecue sauces. And then if you go out to, uh, if you go to uh, Alabama, they enjoy a white sauce, a white barbecue sauce, mayonnaise based sauce. I just love that. And you go on further out west to uh, St. Louis or Kansas City, and you've got those really super thick, uh, very, very sweet um, molasses and brown sugar, um, tomato-based uh, um, barbecue sauces. But how about if you go to Memphis, Memphis, Tennessee? What do they like to do there? Well, I'll get into that here in a minute, but what is very, very popular in uh, Memphis-style barbecue is their dry rub. And then, they, of course, they have a... A barbecue sauce like this, uh, tomato based, uh, but it is more tangy. It's going to be a lot less sweet uh, and a lot more tangy than your typical thicker Kansas City style or St. Louis style barbecue sauces. And I believe what they do in Memphis is they use this um, on some pulled pork and they use this kind of as a dipping sauce for those dry rub um, ribs and uh, even chicken that they make but they also use this type of sauce as a glaze uh, on ribs and chicken uh, as well but let's go ahead and get into this one guys i just wanted to kind of give you that little background right there but it says red's passion for barbecue began while working as a cook at a smokehouse in southern louisiana influencing his decision to pursue a career as a chef now this is talking about karsten hart adesia's husband Red cooked his way through some of America's best restaurants, and as his culinary skills expanded, his love for his roots in barbecue only grew stronger. Red's barbecue sauce is a combination of traditional ingredients, fresh vegetables, and our own blend of signature spices. This bottle represents 25 years of culinary experience and dedication to his craft. All right, just to love these uh, 16 ounce bottles. And just love that label, just really looks nice. Okay, now here's ingredients on this, guys. I can't read it from the bottle. I'm gonna have to read it from my phone. But this really does sound amazing. Uh, we start off with ketchup, and then we have sugar, distilled vinegar, salt, onion powder. Well, that's what's in ketchup, so I'll just go on. Uh, so we have ketchup, and then we've got water, tomatoes, apple cider vinegar, light brown sugar, molasses, 
white onion, pineapple juice, and then we have classic yellow mustard. So that's another typical the ingredient in a Memphis style barbecue sauce is to add mustard to give it a tang. Not to turn it into a yellow mustard style barbecue sauce, but just to give it more of a, uh, of a tang. And then we have, after mustard, then we have um, garlic Worcestershire sauce. Love that. And then we have celery. Then we have ground paprika. Try not to read all the ingredients in Worcestershire sauce. Then we have ground paprika, liquid smoke, tamarind, black garlic, sea salt, chipotle chili pepper, and spices. And that's another thing that I think that uh, they did uh, was to uh, really give this some rich flavors and some uh, complex flavors is by adding the tamarind also to keep it tangy and uh, that black garlic to give it some real good richness. All right, now this one, guys, has a really nice color to it, nice and dark, but I love the consistency. I think this is um, really just right for this type of style sauce. Memphis style barbecue sauce is going to be a little bit more thin like this. It's not going to be super thick and sugary like your Kansas City or your Memphis style, or your, excuse me, your uh, St. Louis style, but it's going to be a little bit more on the fluid side like that. All right, let's go ahead and check this out. Sodium is only 180 milligrams for two tablespoons, so that's very low for a, a barbecue sauce, so that's awesome. Now, the aroma on this is just really, really good, guys. Um, you know, immediately, you, okay, you can smell, okay, this is a barbecue sauce. You smell that sweet, slightly smoky, tomato-y um, signature uh, aroma of a typical barbecue sauce. But the more you take your time with this, you really get the tang. Uh, this has got two vinegars in it. It's got the white distilled vinegar and the apple cider vinegar. But it's also got that mustard. It's got that tamarind in there that's going to really boost up the tanginess. And that's what you want in a Memphis style. And that's exactly what I'm getting. So I'm not just getting bombarded with sugary, sticky, molasses, brown sugar sweetness. I'm getting that tomato and I'm getting a, a nice tang from the combination of the vinegars and the uh, the mustard. And it is really, really nice. But then as you take your, more of your time with it, there's such a, there's a rich umami um, depth and a, a deep dark type aroma to this kind of in the background that's kind of coming up a little bit. And I believe that's from uh, those other ingredients like the tamarind and the um, black garlic and the chipotle peppers, just giving it just a little bit of a um, smokiness along with the uh, the liquid smoke of course mm, smells so good all right I'll show you what this one looks like on a spoon Let's see if i can show you a good pour here here we go oh doesn't that look good all right don't normally do barbecue sauce straight up on a spoon but we're gonna do it here we go mm. so well balanced guys all of those flavors nice and tangy not overly sweet at all so there is a little bit of sweetness to it but that's the whole thing about a memphis style is to be less sweet give it more of a tanginess it's more of a thinner sauce so you're getting that nice tangy bite to it and then those richer darker deep flavors i'm getting that as well with the black garlic the chipotle pepper the worcestershire and the tamarind giving it some nice tanginess as well. Super, super delicious, really, really good. I think if you don't wanna go all the way to a thin vinegar-based mop sauce and you just are tired of the thick, slow pouring, full of molasses and brown sugar, sweet tomato-based sauces like in Kansas City or St. Louis, um, this is kind of in the middle. This kind of gives you the, um, the best of both worlds. You've got the tomato, you got a little bit of sweetness, but then you got the vinegar tang, but it's not so thin. So this is kind of right in the middle, and I think this is super, super uh, good. Well done on this one. Now here's what I did with this one, guys. I just went ahead, I, uh, I had some uh, uh, boneless uh, country-style pork spare ribs, and I uh, put a dry rub on there, a Memphis-style dry rub on there a little bit, and but I went ahead and used this uh, during about the last 10 minutes of cooking time, put this on there as a glaze. 
and they really glazed up good and they were just super super delicious so great job on this one uh, Carson and Deja I uh, really really enjoy this one heat on this one it is very very mild for me barely registering any heat at all so I just have to give it a zero but somebody who's not used to a lot of spice they may get a little bit of heat from the chipotle pepper but that's uh, I believe the only the only pepper that's in here so this is just focused more on flavor not to be super hot but check this one out guys you can find them at reds uh, hot sauce.com i'll put that link uh yeah reds hot sauce.com i'll put that link down in the description so make sure you check it out deja and uh karsten thank you so much for sending this i greatly appreciate it guys thank you for watching we've got a lot more to come so stay tuned and until the next time make sure you enjoy the burn we'll see you guys later